there's your audit. We are going to garnish your wages. You owe us your life savings. Deduct this, IRS bastard! Mike, what are you doing? Come on, we gotta go. We've been here 20 minutes. Come on! Hey! Look what you did. Let's just gas up and go. Uh, I kind of blew a roll. You spent 25 bucks on that thing? Relax, it's deductible. And you know, we could always... No way, Mike. I'm not siphoning any more gas. My gums are still white from the last time. Hey, how much money you got left? Let's roll. So what are we supposed to do for cash now, Mike? Ah, my mom's old college roommate lives here in D.C. She's all hooked up in the political scene. I'm sure she'll lay some cheddar on us and let us crash at her place for a couple of days. You know, I'm getting sick of this. I feel useless. I'm just going around in circles, drifting from town to town without ever really accomplishing anything. Exactly, my friend. We're young stallions who got a rope free. If we keep going along like this, I mean, what are we going to be like when we're 60? You know, Mike, I'm getting sick of this. We're just going around in circles, drifting from town to town. We never really accomplish anything. Exactly, my friend. We're young stallions who got a rope free. If we keep going on like this, what are we going to be like when we're 90? Drifting from town to town without ever really accomplishing anything. <laughs> exactly, my friend. <laughs> we're young stallions. Oh, heaven. I've got to be again. There's got to be more to life than seeing how far you can travel on 30 cents worth of gas. Oh, mystery solved exactly 3.7 miles. <sighs> Almost there, bud. Oh, man, has that been on the whole time? Think she'll be cool with us just showing up out of the blue like this? Uh, no doubt. Lydia and Mums were real tight back in the day. Can I help you? Lydia, it's me, Mike Bonner. I'm sorry. Sally's son. Sally Lipscomb? Well, it's Sally Bonner now. <laughs> <laughs> She'll always be Sally Lips to me. <laughs> Good to see you, Mike. Come on in. All right, a party. Actually, it's a fundraiser. All right, a fundraiser. What's the cause? Senator Bilson's health care initiative. You work for Howard Bilson? I'm his chief of staff. <laughs> oh, Mike, I've got to show you something. I'll be right back. This is incredible. She works for Senator Bilson. Isn't that the guy who got busted for putting the trumpet up that intern? No, 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 Mike. That's Senator Wilson. This is Senator Bilson. He spoke at our graduation, remember? We are the future. Fight me! Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, without further ado, Senator Howard Bilson. That's not how I remember graduation. Well, you missed one of the most important days of my life. It was after his speech I decided to attend his alma mater. Get a load of this, Mike. I've got some beautiful photos of your mom. This is from our Greek vacation to the island of Lesbos. Wow. Mom was hot. Oh, yes, she was. So young, so curious, so flexible. Mm. Lydia, the Washington Post needs another Bilson quote. Sorry, guys. I'll be right back. Bilson's brilliant, man. He's the only guy who's been able to figure out universal health care. Hey, see if she can introduce us. I'll scope it out. Maybe hit her up for some cash. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> ah. Ah, bad news, bud. We're getting cash. Yeah, thanks. But we gotta work for it. Doing what? Slaving away for Senator Watts' ass. Are you serious, Mike? That's exactly what I've been looking for, a real cause. Working for some cello politician? Oh, no way, Mike. He's the real deal. A Rhodes Scholar. Congressional Medal of Honor recipient for saving his platoon and an entire village without killing a single baby. Despite the loss of his leg, an Olympic triple jump champion. Family man. Howard Bilson believes that every man, woman, and child in America should have health care. And he's found a way to pay for it by cutting government spending. 
He guarantees cradle-to-grave coverage for all of us without raising taxes. Let your congressman know that this is a bill worth fighting for. Together, we can make a difference. What do you think? It's embarrassing, Lydia. I've told you, I'm not going to be one of those politicians who spends all of his time in office running for office. Let the legislation sell itself. But, Senator, it's your good name that's going to push this bill through. No, Lydia. This bill is getting passed because of you and all of your hard work. Who? What? See, Mike? He's awesome. Politics is just a crock. My parents spent their whole lives fighting for their ideals, and what did it get them? Pot is still illegal. I keep hearing that the youth of this country is aimless, running around in circles without purpose. But that's not what I see here. Together, we can make a difference. Come on, Senator. We're late for your subcommittee here. Por favor, Senator. Si? Este es mi niño Rafael. Se fue en un accidente terrible. El doctor dice que él nunca va a andar otra vez. Oh, qué lástima. La única cosa que le hace es para, es para jugar con la pelota con usted, señor. No problem. Sir, we're running very late. Well, not too late to play catch with the next Pedro Martinez here. Y bien raso. Rafael, mira. Let's make a deal. I pass health care, and you walk again. You got a deal. Senator! Your briefcase. Oh, thanks. Have we met? You probably don't remember me, but... Gary Newton. Liebrich High Valedictorian, class of 96, right? Yes, sir, you remembered. How could I forget? It was a great speech. Glad to have you on our team, Gary. This young man's going places. Senior class valedictorian. Senator Bilson's best friend, the cure of cancer, no longer a virgin. He's married to supermodel Rebecca Romaine Stamos Newton, and now President of the United States, Gary Newton, simply the best, and again, no longer a virgin. Okay, let's get to work. Great. I'm ready to make a difference. Mm, spoken like a true Bilson buddy. I felt the same way the first time I heard him speak. Really? Oh, yeah. Poor black girl from the projects. Worked my way up from drive through window to VP of marketing at Burger Barn. Salad in a sack? My idea. Oh, I love salad in a sack. They did, too. But I gave it all up for Senator Bilson. Now, Mike, huh? take this package to the White House and this to the Supreme Court. Now, Gary, we have a few mailers that have to be stuffed and posted. Terrific. Let's stuff and post. Ah! Oh, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. How the hell am I supposed to find this place? The landmark case of Alabama versus Climax Films should be a watershed for the First Amendment. The Supreme Court has been in chambers for several weeks, carefully weighing the evidence. What do you want? Package. Furry Miss Candy Mouth. You are some stud. Go on, deliver your package. Here you go. Ooh, not that package. That package. <clears throat> oh, oh. Ooh, I am so hot. I mean, it's so hot in here. Ooh. <clears throat> Let's take five. Make now. it 30. You'll go on, I'll keep waiting. From the top, Charlie! <clears throat> Delivery. Down the hall, make a left, a right, three lefts, go downstairs, two doors on your left. Uh, left, three lefts, then left. Yeah, yeah, got it. Thanks there, Private Ryan. You must now leave the island. No! The tribe has spoken. Damn! So much for the alliance. That bitch is cold bloody. Uh, left, right, uh, left. Oh, what do you want? A uh, package for justice. Oh, oh, you are some stud. <laughs> go on, deliver that package. Oh, uh, here you go. Not that package. That package. <laughs> oh, my God. What have I done? Wow. Almost finished, huh? Yes. I just licked the last one. Licked all 10,000? Mmm. What a waste. 
Excuse me? Oh, uh, I guess I should have told you about our automatic seal. <laughs> Next time. That's the spirit. Now let's get these stamps. It's all set. Happy mailing. Hey, Gally, what's up? Everything, man. I'm in charge of postage for Senator Bilson. Can you beat that? Oh, I think maybe I can. I just bagged a Supreme Court justice. <gasps> sure, Mike. I swear it, man. It's the greatest sex I've ever had in my life. I never had a chick so into me, man. <laughs> I can't get clean. I can't get clean. <laughs> Mike, you're so full of it. Oh, I'm not the one who was full of it. Check this out. Oh, my God! How could you do that? Hey, at first I objected, but I was overruled. <laughs> but, Mike, she's, like, so old. Look, dude, in the hot tub of life, everybody's wrinkled. Besides, she does things I've only seen porn chicks do. Mike, we are Bilson buddies now, okay? We can't do anything to hurt the senator. Our lead story tonight. An $8 million mailing blunder has shaken the Bilson office and tarnished the senator's reputation. The support in the Senate for Bilson's health care legislation appears to be rapidly eroding. Inside sources indicate the scandal may have cost Bilson six crucial votes. Uh, I don't know what happened. I could have sworn I set the machine right. Hey, don't beat yourself up. It could just as easily have happened to me. Okay, let's talk damage control. How do we spin this? Hey, just tell him Bilson was hopped up on booze and pills, but now he's clean and high on life. Worked for Mary and Barry. Andy Dick. Daryl Strawberry four times. No, we're not going to spin anything, Lydia. Tonight we're going to go before the American people and just tell them the truth. All right, Senator. I'll book some network time and get going on a speech. We're gonna beat this, guys. We'll pass this bill if it's the last thing we do. Look, you've been up all night worrying, Senator. Go get some sleep. No, 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 no. If everyone's pitching in, so am I. I'll sleep after the speech. Okay. Someone needs to go do a coffee run? I'll go. Come on, Mike. Duty calls. Later, bud. Right now, booty calls. Sorry, sir. The tour has already left. Oh, I've already taken the tour. See, I'm doing chambers for a debriefing. I've got a rocket in my pocket, so... Put me on your docket. <gasps> oh, no, that sucks. Oh, babe, I'll unravel if you don't bang my gavel. Oh, that's way too romantic. And so, my fellow Americans, I leave you with this thought. If we get well, we must get well together. Perfect. Okay, can you clean this up? We go on air in ten minutes. Go. I got this. Terrific. Hey, Gary. Ooh, great. You're a lifesaver. Just doing my part, sir. Hey, man. I need you to read this thing I've been working on. Can't you see I'm a little busy here, Mike? Okay, but when you get a minute, read it, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you get the door for me? Yeah, sure. Later. Later? <laughs> you go, girl. This is the best speech we've ever written. Oh my God, Lydia! This is no time to sleep. The speech, the speech. What's wrong with you? Are you drunk? The speech. Oh no, the senator's almost on. Get it to the teleprompter. You can count on me. Thank you, Gary. Just making a difference. Where is she with that speech? Sir, sir, here it is. Ah, I don't know what I'd do without you. Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Howard Bilson. My fellow Americans, I take full responsibility for Mailgate. It was a terrible mistake, but I trust you to forgive. Forgiveness is the a country of untapped opportunity. We can get to the promised land, but we all need to get there together. United, we can make a difference. There's something my father pledged to the American people that when we pass this legislation, I will be getting jiggy with your stuff. Be all up inside your sweet pastry pie. Oh, f me. 
Jiggy Gate 2001. Good evening. Our top story tonight, Senator Howard Bilson gets jiggy. In what was billed as an apology to the nation, Bilson suddenly launched into a lewd, sexually explicit ode to the American people. I will be getting jiggy with your stuff. Be all up inside your sweet pastry pop. You melt in my mouth, sweet love like no other. Don't matter that you look like my great grandmother. <laughs> Lydia, what the hell happened? I don't know. I've been up so long, I must have just typed it in by mistake. Okay, okay. You know how much I respect you. We've been through a lot together. And I still believe you can make a difference. Just do it somewhere else. But, Senator... Lydia, I told the nation I wanted to get all up inside their pastry puffs. That's not good. I understand. Look, just get some rest and regroup. We'll be in touch. Oh. Hey, anything I could do for you, sir? No, thanks, son. You know, if only there were a few more kids like you, we wouldn't be in this mess. Ah, I do what I can, sir. And then I try to do a little more. Well, I'm going down to the First Methodist Church and pray for a little miracle. Can you hold down the fort? Absolutely, sir. If only the people could see him as I see him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, that's it. Here's your little miracle, Mr. Senator. Hello? Is this a dispatch? Get me the photo department. I've got the image that'll make America fall in love with Bilson again. Where is she? I need to see her. That's impossible. But she's authorized me to speak on her behalf. <clears throat> First of all, thank you for making me feel like a woman again, but this just isn't going to work. Yeah, but... Please! I, I want to get to this without crying. You deserve someone better. It's not you, it's me. And I'm afraid of commitment. Not to mention the fact that I'm focusing on my career right now. I can't live without you, baby, and I won't leave until you take me back! Okay, here's where it gets a little different. If I ever see your face around here again, I'll put a bullet through it. Well, uh... I'm just glad you had the guts to tell me to my face. Later! Hey, Lydia, how you doing? How do you think I'm doing? Yesterday, I was on top of the world, and today I'm finished. What the hell happened? You got sloppy. But let's not dwell on the past. Lydia, I may not know everything, but I do know Senator Bilson, and I'm pretty sure that if you ask him for his forgiveness, he'll give it to you. You think? Absolutely. Listen, he just went to church. You should go to him. You know, you'll never forgive yourself unless you try. You're right, Gary. Thanks. I'm just trying to make a difference. I think that's our stapler. Howard. Lydia. I'm so glad you've come. I just wanted to tell you. No, 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 you don't have to say anything. I've been praying for guidance, and I found it. I realize I can't quit now, and I can't go on without you leading my team. Oh, thank you, Senator. In a shocking and bizarre incident, Senator Howard Bilson was found in a downtown Washington, D.C. church this morning, receiving oral gratification from an unknown gentleman. In a related story, the Senate voted down Bilson's universal health care bill 99 to 1. Maldito sea el infierno, Bilson! Maldito sea el infierno! You were right, Mike. I guess politics really is a pretty bogus business. Hey, learn to trust me, brother. Yeah, because when it comes down to it, what difference did we really make? We've sailed through some rough waters, but we came out on top. Thank you for passing my bill and electing me president. Oh, 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 o
<laughs> that was three cheeseburgers, two chicken delights, four fries, and a salad and a side. Thank you, sir. I am not a man! What? That's it, dude. You are so fired! <laughs> I can't get clean. I still can't get clean! So, where to? Who cares? Let's just drive around in circles and drift from town to town aimlessly. Ah, aimless it is. You're watching Comedy Central. If you thought freshman year was rough, wait till you see it animated. Stick around for undergrads. Coming up next.